Hi. So I thought it was time to uh, uh, do another cooking uh, video and uh, I was partly inspired by a, a fairly recent uh, post on Facebook and um, it was a recipe uh, and, and I thought, uh, gosh, um, uh, I should try to recreate that. Um, now, some of you may remember, if you've been following the vlogs for a while, uh, back at uh, vlog number 54, and if you haven't seen it, I, I would encourage you to, uh, to watch it, um, I had made snickerdoodles. And uh, though you may remember, uh, I probably talked about uh, Aunt Betty, because Aunt Betty was um, uh, one of the people who, who first gave me uh, snickerdoodles, at least... Uh, hers is the most memorable snickerdoodle uh, that I that I had uh, uh, up to that uh, point in my life, and um, uh, so uh, the the recipe in question that was uh, uh, put up on Facebook um, was done by um, her husband, my uncle Paul, and um, it was posted by uh, one of my first cousins once removed. Uh, she had found it um, in her recipe box, and uh, apparently uh, what had uh, happened was uh, Uncle Paul, who was a, a, a good cook, and, uh, and I don't know what the word is, an inventor of, of uh, recipes or uh, whatever. I'm sure there's a word in there, and you can comment below and um, tell me what word I'm looking for, but in any event... Um, he had come up with this recipe, which he gave to Aunt Betty, who gave it to um, my cousin once removed uh, on the occasion of her wedding shower. So uh, she had just recently come across it, uh, as I said, in her uh, recipe box and, and posted it. And it got me to thinking, gee, you know, I did uh, snickerdoodles, which reminded me, of course, of, of Aunt Betty. And so why don't I do this recipe? Uh, sort of in honor of uh, Uncle Paul, who uh, he and uh, Aunt Betty have uh, since passed. Uh, so I thought it'd be a nice, nice kind of uh, thing to do. Oh, and incidentally, if any of you were worried because I you know snickerdoodles and flour and all that stuff, this recipe is in fact uh, gluten free. So, uh, so you don't need to to worry about that. Uh, so we're gonna put together. Oh, uh, one more thing I want to say before we get started. Um, you may or may not know or realize that often before I do one of these vlogs, uh, the, the, the cooking ones, um, I will test the recipe and see if there are things I want to change, add, subtract, whatever. Uh, and I've done that with this one, and I'll talk about uh, some of the things I discovered as I uh, uh, prepared this recipe oh, two or three times uh, previous to this uh, taping, if you will. Uh, so, here we go. I think uh, I think that's all of the um, things I need to mention uh, before we get started. So here we are uh, presenting, um, perhaps I should say my version, uh, but it's not far from the original uh, recipe. Um, uh, Uncle Paul's uh, recipe for boiled ice cubes. Yep. Uh, so, uh, now, uh, you're supposed to start with um, uh, two cups of uh, cold, uh, cold. That's important because I, I, I tried it with warm. It doesn't, doesn't work. Uh, cold ice cubes. So two cups, okay. Oh, and I want to say, oh, see, uh, well, two things I want to say. Um, one... They should be, uh, these are organic uh, ice cubes, of course, and um, uh, free range. And uh, also, um, you want to you wanna use fresh ice cubes, okay? Do not, because I tried it, it does not work. Do not go to the local garage or convenience store and they got the cooler out front and you grab a bag of these things and you pound them on the pavement to loosen them up and... To, don't, oh, no, I don't even want to think about. It. I try and no, don't don't do that. So fresh, uh, preferably free range organic ice cubes is what you want to 
use and we want two cups so uh let's see here we go two cups of ice cubes that one's okay oh gee no it's okay it's okay it's okay and this one looks okay so that's one cup oops there we go one cup and now here's the thing this one will be okay this one broken no something i don't know the, the flavor it's just not there um so this one uh, this one's okay and uh borderline but uh for purposes of of our uh, vlog today we'll go ahead and use that one and uh this this good one here okay so there we go so there's two cups of cold ice cubes so i gotta kind of move along now so they don't warm up before we go to the next uh, step okay and then one cup of uh warm water now another important thing tap water eh, no no you want filtered water it has to be filtered water you know as you can imagine um i did several uh, iterations of this and um let me just get a cup here okay Um, yeah, I did uh, several iterations of this, and uh, one, of course, was um, tap water and, and garage ice cubes. <sighs> oh, oh, no. Gag me with a spoon, man. Yeah, it was horrible. I get to lick the spatula. Good. Filter. Mmm. All right. So, there we go. We got the water. Now, um, get this to, to go in so it's warm. A little extra light on there. And, uh, We'll just give that a chance to warm up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so the water's warm now. Uh, now the next part, um, you want to bring the warm water to a boil. Okay. So uh, uh, again, um, just uh, so you don't have to watch, sit and watch water boil, which I'm going to have to. Um, we'll just cut here and uh, bring it back in when the uh, water is in fact boiling. Okay, water's boiling. Uh, it's not a rolling boil yet, but that's okay. Uh, I've discovered that uh, as long as it's boiling, well, now it's starting to roll. So any anytime in there, as soon as it's boiling uh, or if it gets to be a rolling boil, that's okay also. So now we'll uh, put the uh, ice cubes in uh, a, just a, a, a few at a time, a few at a time. Uh, if you dump them all in, obviously the temperature of the boiling water will drop, and it just—it's um, just something in the process. Uh, it's probably a, a chemical, uh, molecular kind of thing that just doesn't turn out quite right if you just sort of dump them all in there at once. So, a few at a time. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Do I have a? I guess I'll use this. good so far I'm going to uh, cut in and out as we as we go along because again this is a process and we don't need to make this any longer than possible uh, than necessary I don't know if you can hear but when you when you drop those in you get that little sizzle and uh, and that tells you two things one uh, it's a it's a fresh ice cube and two the water uh, is is at a uh, proper temperature uh, if, if you just drop them in there and you don't hear that psh, sizzle uh, kind of thing uh, then something's off it's either not a fresh ice cube uh, or and, and incidentally if you put a uh, an ice cube in there and you decide uh, the water's 
warm enough, I know that, uh, but it didn't sizzle, so therefore, ergo, it's a uh, not a fresh ice cube. Whip that sucker out of there as quick as you can, because you don't want to spoil the, the whole batch. And if you get it out quick, it should be okay. Uh, now, one other thing I found out is that, um, I guess I'll keep that for later, is that, um, you know, you would think uh, that the best uh, thing to stir with, uh, if you wanted to do any stirring, and you, you really don't want to do a lot, but if you wanted to just kind of do a little something like that, make sure the sizzle's still there. Uh, it, the best thing is actually plastic. Uh, I know it's uh, pla plastic is a uh, 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 sin qua non. I don't know. Uh, forget my Latin, uh, Sarah Allen. Where I, uh, it's a it's a not good thing at this point. Um, and uh, but uh, if you try if you use wood because uh, I got lots of uh, wood uh, sp uh, spoons and stuff here. The flavor of this dish is so uh, delicate that uh, if, if you use uh, wood um, that um, has, has been used in any other sort of uh, dish, uh, some of that flavor may cling to the, uh, to the wood or be Im embedded in the wood, so to speak, and it, it could come out uh, in, the, in the flavor. That happened with one of the batches I did. It could come out in the flavor, and, uh, and there goes your whole uh, batch right there. So. Um, just uh, something to uh, to keep in mind. So now we're gonna let the whole thing uh, come to a boil. So almost there. Okay, so we're pretty much at a boil at this point. Uh, I'm gonna let it go just for another uh, a few seconds to, to really get it boiling. Uh, and then the next step is to let it cool to room temperature. And so uh, uh, we'll break uh, for here. Uh, while it's cooling. There we go, full boil. I'll shut that right off. There we go. Uh, so now we're going to let it cool to room temperature uh, and then take the next step. Five hours and 37 minutes later. Okay, it's cooled now to room temperature. And the next step is to. Um, Uh, take a glass. Oh, yes, a glass, a glass, glass. Uh, paper cup, plastic cup, no, glass. Trust me, it's going to affect the taste. And you've gone to all of this work. You want to maintain uh, not only the taste, but the bouquet uh, and so forth. So, trust me. Uh, all right, so uh, now uh, we'll just... Uh, Transfer it to a glass. I'm going to do it over the sink. You probably won't be able to see this, but there we go. Cool to room temperature. Add ice. Free range organic. Stir. And enjoy. <sighs> oh yeah. As they say uh, in the Philippines, masarap. To... Uncle Paul and Aunt Betty.